Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. Yeah, she is, and I'm David Jones. Today's Designing Spaces goes high tech with a look at some wonderful solutions to the digital lifestyle and to make your home a safe and secure living space. And that includes the home office. Maybe your home-based business is starting to take off and you need help with establishing your company identity. Help is on the way, and it's coming from a familiar name to just about anyone in business. Plus, we get to have some high-tech fun by bringing a new dimension to your home entertainment system. I mean, if you're into movies or gaming, you're going to want to see this, believe me. And do you want to learn another language? See. Si. There you go. You don't have to go to school. It can all be done at your own pace, right in the comfort of your own home. Some interesting technology makes learning more effective and efficient. Oh, and we have some new computer memory enhancements that will blow you away. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. So Debbie, yes. safety first. Absolutely. So we will kick off the show with a look at some technology that is making poolside a safer place, especially if there are little ones around or David. That's right. Also, we get some excellent safety tips that all pool owners should take to heart. Here's Andy Tillis. So many of us enjoy having a swimming pool in the backyard, experiencing cherished moments, playing with your kids, or watching your kids play with their friends. But there are times when children can wander too close to the swimming pool unsupervised, and that joy can quickly turn to tragedy. Accidental drownings account for most of the deaths in children under the age of five. Designing Spaces wants to make sure that every swimming pool is a safe one. So today, we're addressing the topic of pool safety. And here to help me is Brett Fritz, a pool safety expert from SR Smith. Brett, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Andy. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. So, Brett, I understand that you use a term, the layers of protection. Tell me about that. There's really three primary layers that folks need to be concerned with. Number one, and the most important layer, is supervision. Active adult supervision is irreplaceable, and uh, it's of paramount importance that you pay attention when the little ones are in or around the pool. Uh, secondly is something called deterrence, and that's really about creating physical barriers in and around the pool that prevent access, fences, pool covers, those types of things. And then lastly is a layer called detection. And that's really about utilizing technology as a backup to those other layers. And that's where our system plays today. So what does PoolSonics do in regards to detection? Well, really what PoolSonics does is bring together a variety of detection technologies that improve that, that layer's performance. Um, the first thing we have is a wireless door or gate alarm that sounds an alarm when there's unauthorized access to the pool. Uh, the second item, which we'll be demoing here today, is our immersion alarm, and that detects when somebody falls into the pool. And then lastly, we have a universal wireless bridge, which allows us to take all of that technology, tie it into their home alarm system. Well, it sounds like you have a very comprehensive solution to the detection layer. And now you had mentioned immersion, and I see that you brought a friend with you to actually demonstrate. So tell me about that. Yeah, this is actually Rescue Timmy, and he's a water safety mannequin, and he's what we use for the ASTM uh, pool alarm testing standard, and he's going to be playing the part today of our unsupervised toddler who accidentally falls into the pool. All right, Timmy, show me what you can do. So you just turned off the alarm with the key fob. Yes. But there's also a keypad inside, correct? Correct. And that makes it so much more convenient, so you have both options. Yep, that's the idea. Make it easy for the consumer. Absolutely. So how often do you have to change the batteries? Well, there's four batteries in there, but that's actually not what we use to drive the unit or the sirens. We actually use solar, so the batteries are there for just as a backup. It's four D-cell batteries. You replace them once a year, just like you would with a smoke detector. Now, I also noticed that once you hear that alarm, the child's already in the pool, so time is really of the essence. Absolutely. When you hear that sound, you need to respond immediately because that means your last layer of defense has been breached. 
Well, it's clear to me that the layers of protection provided by Pool Sonics are definitely the best way to prevent any tragedy at a swimming pool. Where can our viewers get this? Well, really, there's three different ways that they can take advantage of the system. If they'd like to connect it to their home alarm system, we recommend they call their alarm service provider. If you have a pool service company that takes care of your pool, that's another route for professional installation. Or if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you can certainly buy it from a retailer, and a list of those retailers can be found on our website, which is PoolSonics.com. That's great. Brett, thanks again for being here and discussing this important topic of pool safety. Thanks a lot, Andy. It's been great. Thank you. If you'd like to see this segment again, you can always log on to DesigningSpaces.tv, where we'll provide a link to Pool Sonics. For Designing Spaces, I'm Andy Tillis. Today it was a good show. I feel like I've got caught up on some of the latest technology that will affect our homes and lifestyles. And you know what? We have even more coming up in the near future, but our next show is going to take us in a totally different direction. Don't miss it. Until next time, I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacesTV or friend us on Facebook. Type in the words Designing Spaces. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.